I'm Tanya Nix and this is the Tanya Nix Show Live. I'm gonna bake a cake. I was gonna stream on Facebook, but for some reason I couldn't. And I will post it for my Facebook uh, friends on that later. So I got a, a recipe. This time I have an English recipe. So hopefully I get the measurements right. So I just uh, melted the butter. Let me get the butter. Oh, the butter, I let in there quite some time. So make sure I get one stick of butter. It's obviously at room temperature. Let me put this somewhere here. Let me get two eggs. I mean, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the eggs in here, just... Okay, look. I'm going to... Boy. It's going to be very nice and soft. And let's see, we're gonna I'll put a little rum in there. I'm not getting rum in there because I don't know how the consistency goes. So I'm gonna put a little bit of vanilla in there. And then I like to use a little cardamom. Let me get the cardamom out of my drawer here. Oops, brown cumin, ground cardamom, hold on. can't find the cardamom. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, okay. Hold on. I, I get. Do I have the cardamom? I don't see cardamom. Where did I put the cardamom? Let me see. All right. We'll do it without cardamom. Let's keep it simple. Now we're going to put some sugar in it, and I believe the sugar amount it says here, sugar, sugar, two-thirds, okay, I think, I think this is a cup, so, so I'm going to a little less than a cup, like this. And I don't want to give this a good whip. Maybe, maybe I can put a little bit of, how about some nutmeg. I have a little nutmeg here. Ooh. That's strong. Maybe no nutmeg. 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 Maybe no nutmeg. But maybe. Let's see what I have down here. Let's do a little bit of cinnamon because cinnamon is always kind of good. Make sure it's the right thing. Again, I'm winging it. Sometimes you just have to wait. My last cake, I had to throw out the, the whole form broke. So this time I'm going to make it in this. So hopefully that works. Now I'm going to put this aside. Let's put this over here for a sec. And I'm going to mix the dry ingredients. The dry ingredients will be one cup of flour. Now I'm going to wing it up slightly here and I do a cup of flour, regular flour and I'm going to experiment and use a little bit of almond flour. I like almond flour. It gives it a little bit of texture because I never really follow a recipe, you know, so, so uh, this amount. 
Okay, this over here, and now let's see if I can get the baking soda, the baking powder, right? Okay, what? Let's see what it says here. The amount, one teaspoon, is this a teaspoon of baking powder? What's this? That's the soda, that's the powder. Last time, my cake didn't rise properly. And then baking soda. Baking soda. Doesn't say, hold on. Baking powder. Baking soda, no baking soda. I don't know. I'm just gonna put a tad bit in. I can't go. I put a little bit of baking soda there. And I'm gonna whip this with my spoon since I already wetted this other thing. You see, got sugar, eggs, vanilla. It's pretty simple. I can't believe this is the only thing that goes in there. And now, let's do this. Clean up a little bit. Let's put this aside. I'm gonna have to cut. I'm gonna spray this with some oil. I use the canola oil. I usually don't use canola oil, but for this, it's fine. So, since I'm gonna change the recipe slightly, let's. Let's add a little bit of, I happen to have water pieces. I'm going to smell them first. Let me see how old they are. Let's smell a little. So we're not going to use those. So I'm going to cu cut the apples. I, I already peeled them. And, uh, I'm going to cut them. Who's that? Who's that? Look who came to help. Come. Look, who's my helper? Come up, up. Come here. Come. Let's show. Show. Ruby likes to help along baking. She thinks she does, but let's put her back down. This is Ruby, my helper. My Christmas helper. So, I always try to have a lot of fun with the baking. And sometimes it misfires. Once I baked something for uh, my boyfriend's family. I, I made a banana cream pie. My banana cream pie, I made the night before, I made two. Uh, when I unveiled it to, to serve the family, hadn't set. And uh, uh, however, it tasted good. So what did I do? I, I, I dumped both, uh, uh, Pies into a big bowl, crumbled it, and served it with whipping cream as a crumble. Turns out, you gotta be creative, and you gotta admit your defeat. Like I said, my last apple pie sucked. So, let's uh, move on to my messy area here. This is, this is what happens when you really bake and not have those cutaways uh, things. So here's my, my mixture, my wet mixture and my dry mixture. I'm gonna hand whip this into maybe maybe I should you know what I'm gonna have to use a different machine. This doesn't work that well. Use because the, the, this other thing it always sticks in there. So look, look at my. This looks a lot better than what I had before. Hopefully, we don't over whip it. it I, I don't want to knock the air out of it. So this oops, goes into my pan. Not 
much. It's a small recipe. I don't know why. I could have. I have so many apples, I might have to eat apples later. There. Merci. Mm. I can lick my finger because I'm the only one that's going to eat this. So now I'm going to shove my apples in there. I'm just gonna layer them. Let me show you. Let me do one layer. Like this. I guess I do have to eat the rest of the apples. And I'm gonna be honest with you, if this doesn't come out right, I will post it for you on the bottom. In in about an hour. It'll be probably taken an hour. So hopefully this will be a delicioso apple bread, apple bread, whatever. Okay, let's see. This looks kind of nice. I don't know if I should clamp more. It might be too heavy. Maybe on the edge one, one here, one I eat. And Those are some sour apples. No wonder I don't eat those. If I do eat apple, I usually eat honey crisp. So uh, be back with me. I'm gonna post the results after on Facebook and below this. So.